Good morning, Marigold. You eating your hay? You ready to be milked, huh? Oh, who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Huh? Who's a good girl? Good morning. She's a good mama. Yes, she is. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. This is Marigold, our Jersey. Up oh, and there she goes. She knows she's about to get fed. Hi. So today we're gonna show you guys how to milk a cow. All right, so this is our setup. It's just a three-sided shelter with a stall. It actually has two stalls. We use one for uh, food with a gate so that they can't get in. But pretty much we just have a halter. And we just have a lead here attached to a post that's in the ground really well. So if she pulls, she won't get it out. It's pretty long. Um, but we don't usually have a problem with her leaving. So it's usually okay to leave it this long with her. Um, but pretty much we're just going to put the halter on her, attach it to the, to the lead. So just to make sure she stays inside the stall while we milk her. Right, Marigold? And my little brother Joshua Hi. is going to show you guys how to halter a cow. Go ahead, Josh. Can you show him, like, like, um, yeah. like, before you put it on her, can you show her, like, what parts, like, how they go on? Well, you uh, get this under her neck. Right, that goes under her neck. Yep, this above her nose. Then and the chain goes under her mouth, right? Yeah, and after you get it on, this goes over her ears. Okay, so this this strap here, right here, goes over her ears. He'll show you how it goes yeah, on. Mo, no. they're fighting already because she knows that, that they're going to get fed. Mark, you want to come over here? Like, yeah. Yeah, here, and then it's just a buckle. And we, for her, we have to put it on all the way tight. Because she's, I guess, a smaller cow. And look at that. And she's wearing her pretty pink halter. And then leash. Yep. And then the leash just attaches to the chain on the bottom. And, and you guys always have to make sure when you put a halter on a cow that it's pulling from the right side. Because that's important. Mo, it's time for you to go out, buddy. Come on. Come on. Time for you to leave. Once I feed him, he'll leave. Yeah, you want me to get two buckets? Yeah, you want to go ahead and grab two buckets? I want to go ahead and we'll show you guys how we get their food ready. Because now that she's all haltered, we'll go ahead and feed her and Mo. And we feed them different things. Because uh, Marigold is uh, completely grass-fed. So, and Mo is not. Because he's going to be our beef cow. Hey, buddy. Yeah, because hey. she's, she's a full-bred Jersey. And she's our milk cow. And then this is her baby, Mo. I think he's about... He's probably 10 months old, and we weaned him about two months ago, so he's not nursing anymore. So we milk her twice a day. And then, <laughs> and then uh, we just feed him cattle cubes now, and he gets hay as well. So he's not completely grass-fed. So we feed him while we're milking her. Hi. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? You interested in what we're doing? Yes. Everyone wants to see your big nose. <laughs> Hi. Hey, buddy. All right. So, because I'm holding the camera, usually I get the food ready, but because I'm holding the camera, Joshua is going to get it ready for you today. So, for her, we have two buckets here. One for her, one for him. Hey, you're not allowed in here. Come on. Out. Out, sir. Thank you. So we have alfalfa hay, and we usually start with that in her bucket. And as you notice, we have horse cubes here. And I'll show you guys what we do with those in a minute, but they cannot eat horse cubes just like right out of the bag because of the way that they're processed. They can't break them down. Cows can't break them down. They're meant for horses. But we do something and we, we use a process called fermentation to break them down for the cows first. As you can see, it's like sloppy. Where's the spoon? Do we have a spoon over here? Oh, hmm, where'd our spoon go? Where'd our spoon went? It doesn't matter. It's just like sloppy. 
Here, we move out. Let me just dump some in. See how it's just like it's just like sloppy alfalfa mix. It's all moist and gross, but she loves it. So we do hay. I would put a little bit more hay in there, Josh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit more hay. And then we just dump a bunch of that fermented stuff off on top of that. Good. Yep, good. that's good. Usually I stick to like a quarter to a third of a bucket at a time. And we feed this to her twice a day. And one thing that's important to note if you're going to feed your cow alfalfa, that you need to make sure that they've eaten something else in the morning first. Now, Marigold, she always gets the hay box bright and early in the morning, so I'm not worried about her eating, because she definitely would have eaten a good amount of hay by now. Now for Mo, we'll put his food in this bucket, but we just give him Purina cattle cubes. We're just trying to make him chubby. Huh? Yeah, just push it. Alright, so there's Mo's food. And that's just cattle cubes. And then Marigold's food is um, alfalfa hay and then fermented horse cubes. And she absolutely loves this stuff. So One at a time? Or, oh. Well, no, go ahead. You can feed Marigold. I'll feed Mo because he'll let me feed him. Hopefully, without chasing me down for his food. All right, buddy, you gotta let me out. All right, there we go. I try and feed him away from Marigold, or else when she finishes her food, she'll get frustrated that he has food and she doesn't, because he's a, hey, don't do that. He's a slower eater than she is, so. All right, hey, don't head butt. Come on. So usually I just put his food next to hay. There he is. <laughs> Are they in and then there's Marigold with her food. And now Josh was going to show you. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and clean her udder. And we're going to clean her tail good in the area around her tail. So. If you do not have a way to wash your hands over by your cow, you're going to want to get gloves for washing. I don't wear gloves, when, we don't wear gloves when we milk, we just wear them when we wash. But you could also wear gloves while you milk, you just have to wear two different pairs of gloves. But we just wear one pair for uh, washing. Okay, woohoo. So we just have a bucket here, and it's just uh, warm soapy water. Now the soap we use, we just use a plant-based dish soap. I do not recommend using Dawn. Some people do. I do not recommend it. I believe I think it's too harsh for the cows. So I recommend using a plant-based dish soap. And just a little. You don't need a lot. And then we just have a cloth in there. As you can see, we use that for, uh, that's specifically for milking the cow. We don't use that for anything else. So Josh was just going to take that with his gloves. And he's just going to start by washing all four of her teats and her udder. Just making sure any loose hair or dirt is off. Like it doesn't seem very visibly dirty, but we're just gonna go ahead and give it a good clean. Do every teat? Yep, do every teat. And then clean her udder really good. And then he'll walk around the other side too and get that other side. Yep, make sure it's all clean. Side. Yeah, there's some dirt on this side. There we go. And then he'll clean the back of her udder. And as you guys can see, she is very full. Okay. <laughs> and then as you guys can see, her tail is sort is pretty dirty. So we're just gonna. You might want to dip that back in the bucket again and get the nice and soapy. But we need to clean her tail too. <laughs> nice work. Nice and clean. Good job. 
<laughs> and now she is a very clean cow. Now, if she had like any like mud or anything on her sides, we would also clean this. But because her sides are visibly clean and her belly is visibly clean, we're not going to do that today. And then we also have a brush, but I just brushed her last night. We usually try and brush her like once a day, but I just brushed her last night, so we're gonna go ahead and wait on that. But a brush will help get any like loose dirt on her sides or any loose hair off of her, and they do like it. They love being brushed. Right, Marigold? Mm, that one doesn't. <laughs> He, he sort of likes it. Our steer sort of likes it. He's he's not sure if he likes it or not, right? All right, so our milking set up. So now she's standing here. Josh, you're going to get his stool. But we both use these same blue stools. I think we just, these are just like regular stack stools we just use. But they sit low enough that it makes it. So I have one and he has one. The buckets both living? Yep, and then our buckets. So what we do is we have a smaller bucket, smaller, I don't know if you guys can tell the size, but that's smaller, and that's bigger, and the bigger one has a lid. So, so we use the small one, but we don't use the lid. Yeah, the smaller one came with a lid, but we don't use the lid on the smaller one. We put the smaller one, Joshua will hold it under her, yeah, Well, we both milk, and then he will dump it into this big one with a lid as it starts to get full, because if she kicks it over, you'll lose a whole bunch of milk. and. If you guys are just starting milking cow, your cow is going to kick over the bucket. That's just something that happens. You'll 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 learn how to tell when your cow is about to kick, and you'll get better at it. It'll take you a while though. All right, Dash, go ahead. Oh, uh, the strip pull. Yeah, I believe that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna like spray, like just a couple times, off of each one, and this will get any like loose dirt that's left under here or. Especially if you're off. sharing it with a cow. And you wanna. Oh yeah, and you especially want to do that if you're sharing it with a calf. Because it's tongue. Yeah, but I just spray it on her hooves, and as you can see, the milk looks milk looks good. But you can spray it into something and dump it out. And she's already kicked once. <laughs> okay. All right. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and probably set up the tripod. But let me just show you guys how to milk first. Go ahead, yeah. So Joshua holds the bucket under, and he can milk while he holds the bucket. You can also put the bucket down under her, but we don't like that because she seems to kick it over more when we do that. So Joshua holds it and milks one at a time. Her two, we cannot milk all four at the same time because her two back seats are pretty close together, and we can't both get a hand on them at the same time. So it does take us a little longer with her, but it's fine. So pretty much what you just want to do is you want to trap the milk, use your thumb, your index finger, trap the milk in the teat, and then just brush it down, and it'll squeeze out. It's pretty simple. It's very hard, and your hands will get very tired very fast. I would recommend letting your calf, if you guys get a Jersey cow with a calf, or you get one that's pregnant, or you buy a heifer and you get her pregnant, and then she has her calf, I would recommend letting the calf nurse until you get this down, and you can get her completely empty without any problems. And then you can go ahead and wean the calf. And because we, we've been milking her for a while now, and we can get her completely empty, and we don't have any problem getting her to drop, so we went ahead and weaned our calf. As I said, Mo, her calf, he doesn't nurse anymore. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just gonna take a lot of practice. Practice, practice, practice on this. Because your hands just get too tired to finish um, milking. They really do. It, it takes a lot of um, energy to milk. So, to hand milk anyway. So usually what we do with her, because we can't milk all four at the same time, is he'll milk his back on his side and I'll milk the front on my side. And then when we're both empty, we'll switch. I'll milk the back on my side and he'll milk the front on his side. So that works out. And it doesn't usually take us long. It usually takes us, what Josh, 15 minutes? 15, 20 minutes? Yeah, that. To finish milking? That's without all the prep work though. Cause we'll be over here for like 30 minutes. Right? 30 minutes to do all the work with it. Yeah, to do all the work. 
We just need to feed her, halt her, feed her. Some, sometimes we brush her. And sometimes give him a new hay bale. Yeah, sometimes we have to feed him more hay. So. Not a half now. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and see. Look, even we spill milk, still. There are times that we still spill whole buckets of milk because she'll kick at us and we'll drop it or... Usually we're pretty good at it. Yeah, well you get, you get better, but you still spill milk sometimes. <laughs> and it's frustrating, it's sad. Oh, and the hooves in the bucket. And the what? A hoof goes in one. Bucket. Oh yes, and there's times when her hoof will actually get inside our milk bucket, bucket of milk. And that's even worse because then we actually have to dump it out. It didn't just spill. Because <laughs> we can't drink that because her hooves are dirty. So if her hooves get in the bucket, yeah, we just have to dump it out. Thing. Yeah. So, yep. Alright, so we're getting pretty full here. It's, the bucket's probably about a third to halfway full. It's hard to tell in the video. It's probably about a half gallon. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and dump it into our big bucket before she knocks it over. So go ahead, Joshua, just, you know, demonstrate. You can do it over here. I'll come up. Okay, so there's our big bucket, and we just dump it all into the lid from the little bucket. And then we'll just put a lid on that and set that aside while we continue milking. And then we will carry it home in that bucket with the lid so that nothing gets into it. Yeah, it doesn't spill. Nothing gets into it. And then pretty much we just go back to milking. Okay, so me and Joshua are both done. I'm done my front and he's done his back. There's barely anything coming out of that now. We'll finish it. Okay. Yeah, we'll finish it once we're we'll, sure we'll, we'll, we'll double check once we're completely done the okay. rest. So now I'm gonna switch to my back and he's gonna do his front, but I just wanted to show you guys the difference here. I'm not gonna sit directly behind her, but as you can see, the side of her udder is like totally flabby. And then this side's still hard because I haven't milked this back one yet. I'll show it to you guys when we're completely done. So you guys can see the difference. But it's hard to tell like this because it's all tucked back in here, all the flabby. But this is not flabby in any way. That's completely solid hard. Okay, so we're about to do our second dump. Another half gallon. Yep, we usually do about three dumps. We usually get about a gallon and a half every time we milk her. Um, I think it's great because she's a she's a first time mom. That was her first baby, so right? Is Mo your first baby? And she's mad because Mo she's done and he still has food. So now she's upset. Right? Are you upset? Are you jealous? Are you jealous cow? Huh? Yeah, you are. All right, guys, we are done. We emptied her out. That's our last little bit. And, probably, we probably bad, bad and bad see, bad. you guys can see a lot better now how flabby like her udder gets and it gets super squishy and soft. And that's how you can tell when she's empty. Cause I would say if you're a beginner and you're like having trouble like getting milk out, I wouldn't just assume she's empty. And that's another thing that you'll learn with practice. Oh, you wanna leave? You just take her a halter off so she can leave. That's another thing you guys will learn with practice is how to tell when she's empty. And she is out of here. She's going to go eat. <laughs> So, we'll just put our stools away. We'll take the milk bucket back. Wait, you wanna show Yeah, you wanna show them how much is in there? This is about, let me think, I think this is a three gallon bucket? Yep, three and a half. No, it's three, I think, right? Or is it three and a half? It's it doesn't matter. We did get these buckets off of Amazon. I think one was like $45, a smaller one, and then this one was like 55. But it's important to note, here real quick, when you guys get a bucket for milk, or two buckets like we did, you guys need, uh, you guys are gonna wanna use stainless steel, seamless buckets. And seamless is important because the bacteria will build up in the seams. And you want stainless steel so it can be uh, washed good, get all the bacteria out. You don't want something like plastic that bacteria can grow in. Um, yeah, it's, it's worth the extra money. Definitely worth the extra money. So go ahead and get good buckets. And then, you know, the bucket to wash her with, that's just like a galvanized steel pail. We use these. We have a few of these. We use them for a bunch of different things. So, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, and this is a brush we use on her sometimes. 
it's just it's just it's just a regular brush so we don't really have shelves so everything is sort of like on the ground right now um yeah but i think that's it what do you think josh yeah we yeah? cover everything got everything all right guys see you guys soon uh there's mo you guys are probably wondering what breedy is because I did say that he was her baby. He is a he's a black Angus Jersey cross. So hi buddy. He looks black Angus. Right? You don't look like a Jersey. No, you don't. Took after his father. Yep, yes he did. He took after his father. <laughs> but he's a steer. He's gonna be our meat cow. We're gonna be butchering him this fall. Right? I don't know yeah, you guys sniff the camera again so everyone can see your big nose. Go say goodbye. <laughs> say goodbye, everybody. And Marigold's uh, stealing the last few of his cattle cubes, aren't you? She has to show she's the boss. She's in charge. <laughs> it's not even for her, right? You should show her who's in charge. You should go get your cattle cubes back. There's only a few left, so I'm not really worried about it. All right, guys. See you guys soon. Thanks for visiting with us. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment if you guys found this video useful or if you guys have anything, any tips that we missed. Um, and we'll see you all next time. Bye. <laughs> Marigold, are you cleaning your baby? Is he still your baby? Is he still your baby? Huh?